Welcome to Gab Talk, where we provide tools, tips, and techniques to help your life and business be easier, better, and faster. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Gabriella, and this is Gab Talk's Success Tips from Experts. Welcome to our next episode, where I have the absolute pleasure and I'm super delighted to bring to you our guest expert today, Else Johnson. Hey, Else, how are you? I am fantastic. I'm so excited to be here with you today, Gab. Yeah, I am excited to have you here as well. You and I have spoken several times and we met in networking circles and I was truly impressed by you, which is why I invited you to come and be one of our interviewees. Will you please share with our audience about your expertise? Because I know they too will be impressed with you. Oh, yes, I'll be happy to do that. I am a mindset coach for creative entrepreneurs in tech and design. And what that really means is I help them truly tap into their own wisdom and help them create the lifestyle, the businesses, um, their relationships that they want, but with all, without all the stress factors. Well, that's pretty important because I think that is something that a lot of entrepreneurs face. So you have your own journey and path that as an entrepreneur yourself that got you here to where we are today. Will you share your story with our audience, please? Oh, absolutely. As you might detect over our conversation, I have an accent and that's because I'm born and raised in Denmark. So that journey, as I started there, I actually started living on my parents' boarding school. I was born there with much older kids. And what that meant is from day one, I was introduced to so many different personalities. That's really where the core of my interest in being a mindset coach was born, even though it took me years, decades to actually realize that dream and that purpose in my life. Um, I went into traditional corporate career in finance. When I moved to the US, I started working for small businesses. I owned my own interior design business for many years till one day I actually woke up and say, Am I living effectively for me? Am I in the place where I really want to stay and be and feel fulfilled and feel that excitement for my life? And unfortunately, there was too many no's in, in, in that question. And I started on my own personal journey before I started realizing that I truly deeply know that I have a gift to help other people get to that place themselves. Amazing. And you know what? I think I had a very similar situation and I think a lot of entrepreneurs do and they have the no's, but then they don't take action or they're not sure or they get stressed out and they stall out and don't know what to do. So I think that dovetails really well into what you shared with me before we started the interview about your inspiration. I thought that was a really cool um, inspiration. And I think our audience will be very inspired as well. Can you share that with us? Oh, yes. It's the book, All the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. And of all the parts in that book, what really sort of stood out to me was if you end up in a waiting place, I don't know, do you remember that? You know, waiting for a bus to come, a phone to ring, a this to happen, a that to happen, right? And I just felt, isn't that the story for so many of us? We just like, oh, when I have this next client, when I get this house, when, when, when? And we, we're always looking at things to happen outside of ourselves where we actually have to be the center of what happens to us, the fuel. And that book was just like, it was like hitting me like a ton of bricks saying, don't get stuck there. You know, because as you said, you know, 98.9% sure you will succeed indeed. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. And I used to read that book to my daughter. And I think a lot of us heard it or read it, uh, heard it as kids or read it to our own kids. And I think that the perspective of it in business is so relevant and so applicable.
Hello, hello, awesome listener. Thank you so much for joining us today at Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts. We're going to take a short break and say thank you to our sponsors. It is through the generous support of these sponsors that we are able to bring to you these amazing experts that are sharing their best tips for your success. So please listen to what our sponsors have to say, and hopefully they're going to inspire you that you're going to click their links and go support them. Introducing Boost by GoV, a high-end, first-in-class, fuel catalyst tablet that is taking the world by storm. How would you like to save money on gas and go further on every single tank? The new MPG is here. Get more miles per gallon, boost power and performance, and reduce emissions and exhaust. What would you say if you could pay less and make fewer trips to the gas pump? It's time to wake up and get on the move. What are you waiting for? Get more out of life and join the GoV experience today. Scan the QR code or check the show notes for more information. You've all heard and you know how powerful it is to send thank you cards, notes of appreciation and gifts that build and maintain relationships. However, writing and sending generic impersonal greetings and gifts one by one just is so overwhelming and takes so much time. Not to mention these days, who wants to deal with lines at the post office, running out of stamps or having to print stamps yourself? And then there's the embarrassment of missing an important date altogether. Yikes. So what can you do? If you go to marketyourbizbiz.guru, you will be able to get help with your greetings and gifts that are printed, stamped, stuffed, and mailed automatically for you. Make sure that you tell them Gabriella sent you. So I, again, before we started this interview, we were talking about this book and we were talking about advice that we would give to that 20 something year old self um, or you know we have a number of people in our audience who are just starting out or changing careers and um, are are young in their career that that would love to hear that one piece of advice that you would give to them I would say don't end up like me creating a business from the perspective of all the big things that you're going to achieve or all the big things that you're going to have when Design your life first and say, what do I want my life to look like? And make sure that the business fits fits into that vision. Yeah, not the when I or when this or if this, but in fact, design it now and have that be what you're going towards. Not when I get there, I will do whatever. That is some fantastic advice. And I know, again, the question is usually meant for like a 20 something year old, but also when you're changing careers and, you know, you already know, just like I had a previous career, you had a previous career. A lot of people actually change careers and become entrepreneurs multiple times throughout their life. Um, And in fact, I think that's a lot of the people that you wind up working with, isn't it? Yes, because it's, when you get to realize that you really have that power, right? That you don't have to be dictated what everybody else thinks that you need, you should do. Um, it may come with maturity, but a lot of times it comes with that little kernel that lays inside and like it nags at you and saying, mm, this is not right for me. And, and then when you find the right support around you, you find the right people that, that truly see that aspiration in you. And, and they keep encouraging you and supporting you in that dream. And you realize, I really have not, not, not so much a right, but I have a, a bigger purpose to fulfill. I have something bigger inside of me where I work more in my zone of genius than just being excellent. Because yeah. there's a huge difference between just being excellent and working in your zone of genius. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I actually was learning a lot about being in your space of genius in the last two years. So I've kind of already led us right into the next question, which is that I love to open it up to our experts, because this is why we do these interviews and why we're here, to allow you to share some tips that our audience can take and do action on right now um, after listening to this conversation. So please go ahead and share with us. So one of the things that I work a lot with my clients about is the narrative by which you run your life. What is those stories that have got you to where you're at? How are you letting those be the foundation for your decisions? Do you have a, a strong money story? Do you have a strong worth story? Do you have or lack of worth story? What are those stories that you need to examine and maybe challenge in order to move to that next level that you wanna be in life? Why do you feel you're not worthy? Why do you feel you're an imposter? Why are you insecure and don't feel you can go beyond this comfort zone that you're in right now? Really be curious about those things. Try to look at them from a different perspective of opening up what is really going on. Absolutely. Awesome. So did you have any other tips you wanted to share before we conclude the interview? The other tip that I use a lot is I'm a little practical woo-woo, <laughs> you know, and don't forget to breathe. It, it yeah. is like just the matter of like, <sighs> it can lower your heart rate. It can change your focus. It can make you more focused. It is so important yet so often overlooked. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because we get so wrapped up in what we're doing that we don't take the time to stop and breathe and a little bit practical, a little bit woo-woo. It's oxygenating our blood and also helping us like just get going, but also relax, which sounds contradictory, but it's actually not. And, and if I may interject just one little extra tip Please. on that, it is your physicality as you work. Because at the same time you take that breath, roll your shoulders back, sit up straight and be ready for work. You know, it just energizes you. Absolutely. On each episode of Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts, we like to highlight a hero sponsor who is a business that chooses to highlight a do-good organization in their own community that is bettering the world. Today's hero sponsor is... Hello, I'm Dr. Anna Maria Bolivin, founder and CEO of Prosperity Pathways, LLC. We get people their jobs of their dreams. We help them start a business or organization. And we even help them along their career pathway. It gives me great pleasure to bring to your attention and honor the hero of the moment, Onward and Upward. Onward and Upward does everything in its power to help those that are homeless, without jobs, without the use of their own computer, get back on their feet. They help people learn what it is that they need to do to get an online job, to get an on-site job. So Onward and Upward is giving a hand up to those that need it. Their website, onwardupwardinc.org. Get in touch with them if you need their help or if you would like to support them. Again, this is Dr. Anna Maria Bliven, founder and CEO of Prosperity Pathways, wishing you a blessed day. Else, I absolutely love the times that we get to talk to each other and I think that other people need more else in their lives as well. So will you share with our audience how they can contact you? Yes. Um, LinkedIn is my place where I hang out for, for social media. I'm also, so that's on Elsa Johnson Coaching. That's how you can find me on LinkedIn. Uh, Facebook, it's there under my own name. It's also under more than just fine as my business profile um, because we all, Let's face it, it should be more than just fine, right? Um, so that's, that's more than just fine, F-I-N-E, correct? Correct, yes. And that's also my website, uh, more than just fine. Dot com. And uh, let's connect. And, uh, you know, I'm always open for a conversation. And let's 
see what can happen. So you guys, I will have the links for Elsa's website and her social media in the show notes and in the description. Please go click on those links and reach out and see how else can help you with your mindset and in your business. Now, before I conclude, I know that you have an offer for our audience as well that I think would be super beneficial for them. Um, will you share that with them? Absolutely. It's on my website. It is a, I talked before about the narrative, right? And the narrative starts by understanding what is our way of getting in our own way? How do we sabotage ourselves? So on my website, I have a saboteur assessment. It really helps you start that um, discovery process of finding out how are you really getting in your own way? Yeah, that is so important and so critical. So again, the link for the offer as well as the website and social media will be in the show notes, will be in the description. Make sure you click on those and reach out to Else. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you set your reminders so that you know when the next episode is published. We'll talk to you guys next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope you got value today. We want to give a huge shout out of gratitude to our contributors. Please make sure you click the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell up above to get reminders when we add new content.